Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about the best way to experience DeX and UMUI desktop on the go on something that looks like a PC. It's called the NextDoc 2. Although it looks like a PC, it actually has none of the processing power, none of the GPU power, or even the fans that a normal PC has. It has a battery, a keyboard, and a display, and it works primarily on inputs. And one of the best parts about it is that we can actually use the horsepower, the processing and the GPU power of our processors on our mobile devices, as well as their connection, be it LTE, 5G, or whatever connection your phone has, directly to this laptop shell and gives us the ability of enjoying it on the go without having to worry about charging our device. There's a lot of cool things going on with the next stop too, so let's not waste any time. Let's talk about what makes this thing unique and why you should consider this if you like using DeX and EMUI desktop on your phone. This is TK, let's check it out. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you always know whenever we have new videos on the channel. Once you open up the box, for the most part, you have a quick start guide. We have the charging cable that's USB-C, international plugs, as well as cables that will be able to provide us the ability of connecting either a Raspberry Pi, an EMUI, or an even uh, basically a Samsung device, and as well as actually any other device that supports mirroring. So even the HDMI capabilities at the beginning of the video as I showed you, I was using the HDMI output out of my main camera directly in here using an HDMI cable. So the devices on the market that currently support a desktop-like experience out of the box, I'm talking about basically you just plug it in and it turns on by itself. There are basically Huawei, some Honor devices, as well as uh, Samsung devices. And then actually, as of the late the update of Android 10 on the V50, we actually now have a desktop experience. It's closer mirrored to what the Android 10.0 desktop experience is, which I'll get a chance to show you guys here on the uh, basically OnePlus 7T Pro McLaren edition. It's not ready for prime use right now out of the McLaren edition or most Android, but it seems that at least the V50 gives us a better UI to be able to interface with. But the ones that I think most of us will definitely appreciate the most are going to be these two devices. It's going to be EMUI desktop here and DeX on uh, the basically DeX out of our Samsung devices. And of course, with this nice looking case here. Uh, last but not least, we can also still use mirroring on our device as long as our device supports it. So the Sony Xperia 5 supports mirroring the display on the device using the HDMI out or the USB-C port. So we'll get a chance to check that out as well. The one thing that I didn't get a chance to mention to you guys is that we have four one watt speakers built into this uh, that are okay for listening to, let's say, audio from a video, but not necessarily for music. Uh, when it comes to actually the headphone, the headphone jack is present here and it does provide us a secondary option in case you don't have a Bluetooth pair of headphones with you. So you can connect your phone using USB-C and then listen to them using the actual headphone jack. But again, the best experience I think overall right now from what I've been using, I think will still be Bluetooth connected directly to your phone. As I mentioned to you guys at the beginning, we are going to use the actual cable that comes with it in the box and we're going to connect to the port that's present, presented to us all the way on the right. That's the one with the actual little picture of a phone. We'll go ahead and turn on the next dock and I'll give it a second. You'll notice right there it says next dock is ready to connect. I'm going to just prop this over so that it actually doesn't turn over. And we're going to go ahead and do a quick test by connecting it directly to my Samsung device. So this should be able to launch DeX right away. You'll notice it started charging my device because it's using the internal battery to charge it. The next thing it's going to do, it's actually going to launch DeX. A couple of things we can do. We can use, let's go ahead and clear all these notifications. We can use the, uh, basically the experience here, the touchpad. So we'll go ahead and turn it on. You notice right there, and it, I can actually use the touchpad as a mouse uh, cursor for us. The other thing that I can do is I'm actually able to use the cursor directly in here to be able to launch, let's say YouTube or even open up anything else. So let's go ahead and open it up here. And YouTube opens up for us the exact same way it runs on DeX. The beauty of it essentially here is that if I want to, I can actually open it up here and I can make it into a floating window and do many things with it. But again, the main function here is that if I want to be able to switch this, let's say I want to be able to use EMUI desktop today, but not, you know, DeX. Go ahead and plug it in directly into a Huawei supported device. So it's actually, I think most of Huawei devices have it, uh, but not all, a, not all of Honor devices do. Again, very simple, very easy. The touchpad works exactly the same way. I'm able to interface here. I'm able to open up YouTube. And of course, I'm able to interact with it the same way. I can open up the app drawer here and then I can scroll. You notice gesture support is here and it works great. Uh, YouTube functionalities and everything else are going to work great. So let's go ahead and play a quick video uh, just to show you guys what it actually kind of sounds like. So hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. I am here at CES 2020 and uh, we are definitely getting a chance here to look at the brand new OnePlus X McLaren edition. Now this is a concept phone that we'll probably never be able to buy. You can see definitely right there, you can go all the way to full screen. We're using basically uh, the full potential of it. It is 1080p max resolution, so we're not going to be able to watch 4K or anything higher than that. But all of the applications, everything that we're able to use on our smartphone right now 
exactly, either be it Huawei or even Samsung. And again, I'm just showing you guys how fast I'm able to switch between one ecosystem to the other. If you're carrying two phones, this is gonna be very, very ideal for you guys. So for me right there, I'm back into EMUI desktop in literally less than maybe 10, 20 seconds max. We still have the connectivity out of our smartphone, be it LTE, Wi-Fi, or whatever radios you get, because again, this actually does not carry anything in it. And the main benefit of it, it actually charges your phone as you're using it. And you can actually see it right there. Charging, it says approximately charge time about 56 minutes. So if your battery is low and you wanna be able to do some work, launch your desktop experience, charge your phone at the same time, and by the end of your work, your phone is fully charged, ready to go, and your laptop still has juice for you to be able to use it again. So what would happen, let's say, if we're using a device that doesn't support a desktop experience, but does support external display connection. So we use the same cable that we used before. We'll go ahead and connect it to the Xperia 5. You'll notice that the little options here show up that we're charging our device, and we'll see that little lightning option. The main benefit here is that this is actually just gonna mirror my display from the phone directly to the next dock. So we'll give it a second to show up. And there you have it. It pretty much, again, mirrors exactly what we have on our device. I can launch any application on my phone and I can use it. And the cool thing is, let's say if I wanna watch a YouTube video, I can actually use it in landscape mode. So we'll go ahead and turn on YouTube. And as long as I can turn my device, it actually does work. It's not ideal, as you notice, the aspect ratio doesn't really work great, but that's mostly because of the actual aspect ratio that we have on the Xperia 5. Let's go ahead and switch over to, uh, let's say here, the McLaren Edition OnePlus 7T Pro. This one does not support a desktop-like experience, but you are able to turn on, uh, let's go ahead and say cancel here. We are able to turn on, uh, let's say, the desktop experience out of Android. So this is what we normally see there. We can basically try to use the mouse pad and actually just get in there. But again, the desktop experience that we currently have right now inside of Android 10.0 is not ready for prime time. The LG V50 does have a little bit better implementation there, and there are other launcher experiences that you're able to do that unfortunately are a paid service. And if you'd like me to show you guys, I can definitely do a video there. Uh, that will help you use desktop experience out of let's say a oneplus device straight out of it but again overall works great and if i want to let's say open up youtube i'll just go ahead and double click on youtube here and it'll open up in full screen mode and i can actually continue watching the video that i was watching before which is my buddy juan carlos bagnell doing his video of the next stock 2 that he posted yesterday you know it's full screen really nice very functional and again not ready for prime time yet And then of course, all of these things are very simple. Again, with and without a desktop mode, and hopefully with Android 11, the desktop mode out of Android natively will make almost any device that has running with, that is running Android have a desktop experience that we can use with the next stock too. The next stock too is providing us a simple way of interacting with our smartphone and using everything that we have built into it. The beauty of it is the fact that it's actually a shell of a device. It doesn't have a CPU to be upgraded. It doesn't have RAM to be upgraded, a GPU, fans to be worried about. The only thing that it has is the core functional things that we need to augment or actually start using those desktop experiences out of, let's say, Huawei or even Samsung devices. The beauty of it, of course, at the end of the day, that it's actually charging our device. If your phone supports 5G, 4G, uh, you don't have to worry about getting a separate plan. Um, you still have access to a micro SD card. You still have access to three and a half millimeter headphone jack. Although not the best implementation of audio for the headphone jack or even for the speakers that we have built in here, I feel like it still serves the purpose that it actually is intending to give us. First and foremost, it's a second screen for our device. I like using it because I can actually use it with my main camera as I did for you guys at the beginning of the video. You can connect the switch to this. You can connect an external, uh, basically HDMI cable coming from your regular laptop and make this a second laptop display for you and just extend your desktop. It is 1080p and it actually does have some limitation in that aspect, but keep in mind the price point that you're getting in there. For under $300 shipped right now, if you'd like to pre-order it, you're getting a really good experience, very well thought out second generation device which means all of the issues they learned from from the first generation and even during the campaign as they were working through it have been fixed. Solid build, good weight, long battery life, and of course, extreme functionality. Even if you don't have a desktop experience, it still works and it does provide you that stream, well, the screen mirroring functionality directly out of, let's say, a OnePlus device or even a Sony device. But if you have a desktop experience like EMUI or even DeX, this is the thing to get. Um, I'm going to say first and foremost, thank you very much for everybody who checked out the video and you stuck with me to the end. I am changing a few things here in the channel. I'm trying to start a rebranding functionality going on by the beginning of February. So thank you very much. Let me know what you guys think of the new set. And of course, uh, make sure you check out Next Talk. I'll give you guys a link to them in the description below. And of course, let me know what you think. Like and subscribe as usual. Share with all your friends and I'll see you guys in the next video.